Hi, my friends call me Lime and do you notice anything different? I'm not sure if you do, but I've been moving house. So, this is what you had to say about mastering your genuineness part 2. Richard Santiago says, Well, keep up the great work seems like almost, almost, everything you have done so far turns to gold to keep up the great content, hashtag Lime Army. I do actually have the mission to provide my army with arguments as opposed to preaching to the choir on my channel, so I actually like the hashtag Lime Army thing. Game on Ryan says, Wow, that script was unnoticeable. Thanks for the genuineness tip line. That was exactly what I was going for, so thank you very much. And then Helix Bright Star says, You can usually tell when a host has not ever even read the script in practice before shooting. Reading aloud the script in rehearsal gives the host a good sense of how to present the subjects most effectively, similar to thinking before speaking to accurately choose one's words for maximum impact and to convey a clear message. I could not have said it better myself. The Pandras says, Once upon a time I used to have some trouble appearing genuine while reading off a script, however, I got better at it and now I'm okay, I think. Practice, practice, practice. Agreed, agreed, agreed. Heal please heal says, When it comes to being genuine, I always go off the idea that a script will never portray that. I feel a genuine personality is what attracts others and is what sets you apart. And then later he types that, Sorry Lime, I don't want to go against the idea of reading a script, but for me, reading or memorizing or remembering lines doesn't display my personality as that has to come from me alone, that's my tips. Now I see where you're coming from and I certainly agree that genuine personalities attract. I do however want to add that there are a lot of people who every day communicate their genuineness well while reading scripts. Um, I think I did a good job with it for example. And I would actually argue that sometimes uh, you might be less genuine while reading from a script. I, for example, struggle to, to to phrase myself when I don't have a script, and I, I tend to I, t I, I tend to start to stutter, and I tend to like not I tend to not get the idea I, I, I tend to not find the words that I'm looking for I'm, I'm actually trying it right now not reading from a script and it, it, it takes away the flow and I, I I'm forcing myself to like focus every time uh, all the time on how to phrase myself and how and struggle to find the words and stuff like that and that takes away from the genuineness and that takes away from the personality so my point is that I sometimes have trouble conveying my thoughts that are in here and therefore I need to give myself time to phrase myself and that's when I write a script so the point is that we're all different some people need a script to give personality and give genuineness while others work better when they just let the words come naturally now, straightforward action says, okay, let's say that you master your lines and it sure takes a while. Then you just tired to say the same thing, subscribers might get tired of it, then you decide to write a new script to practice again, the process gonna repeat over and over again, making it feel so tiresome and annoying trying to master all of that, do you feel the same? So I think that is a common misconception that working with a script takes a lot more effort than improvising. I've led an improvisation acting group and sometimes people come there thinking that an improvised show takes a lot less preparation and a lot less training compared to a scripted show and that could not be further from the truth. 
it takes equal amount of preparation and work, it's just that it's different. For example, if you write a script, then you can choose your words carefully and plan your performance, but then of course you'll have to work on remembering those lines and work on being genuine. However, if you improvise, then you'll have to make up quality content and delivery on the spot within seconds. You have no opportunity to rehearse this, which means that it might not be as well phrased or well delivered as it could have been. And so to do this well, then you have to put a lot of work into gaining and sustaining a certain set of skills and you have to put a lot of concentration in front of the camera. So now to answer your question, if I feel like I get tired of the lines, I actually do not. I actually feel like every time that I remember my lines a little bit more and the more I read my lines, the more I get to play around with them and have fun with them. It's like I get better at them, so I kind of level up. I have though experienced getting tired of lines, but that was after like a month of rehearsal and after like the 10th show and after such a time I think the delivery is kind of in your muscle memory so I'm not sure how noticeable it is and if it is noticeable then you just have to go back and remember why you cared in the first place. So I hope that this gave you some answers. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.